This is Morning Life and a very warm welcome back. Uh, we're coming to you live from the AA2 Lifestyle Centre in Soweto, which is the home of the second edition of the Abantu Book Festival. And uh, I'm standing here with uh, some with one of uh, the writers and the author, uh, coach, uh, Mam Sindisiwa Makwana. Very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Indeed. Now, uh, how do you feel being part of a festival of this nature? Oh, really, I'm honored. I'm excited. And above all, I am grateful that something like this is happening. Really grateful. Because uh, we need inspiration like this in spaces such as this. It shouldn't always happen that we are always visitors uh, in other people's spaces. This is ours, by us, for us. And therefore, more and more people who look like us. Not that you're saying other people shouldn't come, but this is in Soweto. People in Soweto, not just children, grown-ups, grandparents, uncles and aunts, for reading and for books to really penetrate the nation. It's for everybody to participate in book reading, book buying, book loving, and just embracing, embracing this. This is ours, and we should not let it die. You really, we should applaud Utan, a young man who had this vision and has had the courage to, to give birth to it. Being in the industry and having written so many books for so many years, do you think South Africans are embracing the culture of reading? Not really. If we were, we wouldn't be reading these sad statistics that our children, that, that came out this week. Our children, when, when uh, the stats come out and say African children, black African children don't, can't read for meaning at grade four. That's an indictment on the grown-ups, on the parents, grandparents, uncles, neighbors, and everybody else of those children. Children can't teach themselves to read. The onus is on the grown-ups around those children. And the gauntlet, I think, should be also thrown upon the parents and parental support, not just the teachers, don't you think? Children can't, don't learn to read. The education of a child does not start at school. It starts at home. We are irresponsible. Parenting has become very irresponsible and we don't address that. The child does not learn to read or to do anything else when they go to school. They, that all starts at home. The school enhances it and grows it, but it's up to the parents. Instead of buying Nike this and Nike that, you know, buy books. Buy books, that's what the child is going, that's what is going to grow the child. Always include the book. It doesn't matter what the occasion is. Birthday, Christmas, I love you. When you give a child a present, always include the book. So that child, children grow up understanding that books are what make a life. We are the stories we read. Indeed, indeed, must indeed. Now, speaking of buying books, uh, and I know that your book is a definite must read. Now, after the successful release of Chasing the Tales of My Father's Cattle, uh, are you working on something bigger and better that will top this? Oh, God, that is the dream, but it's also the fear. When that book came out and people thought they were giving me a, a compliment, this is the bo best book you have ever written. What have I been doing all my... Okay, <laughs> then I take that compliment and I say, well, will I ever write another one as good as this? But now it has become the, ch the challenge. I challenge myself to do something even, to bring out something even better. And I guess that's the challenge that so many aspiring black book writers face. If I write a book, is it going to sell? Are people going to embrace it? Are they going to love it? The thing is every writer's dream, every writer's fear... And, and, and every writer's aspiration. You go to your writing with the hope that the book will be well received and that people will get something. You don't write the book for yourself. You write the book that has meaning for you. But obviously life is for everybody. You hope that what bothers you, what troubles you, troubles everybody else and that what you are giving 
will be of some use to someone. Earlier on, I spoke to Uta Ndomkolozana, the founder of the Abantu Book Festival, and did, uh, I asked him why this, why this festival is focusing particularly on the black authors and black writers. And uh, he did, yeah, he did, uh, did good some work, so very, very good work, you know, in, in analyzing and giving us a rationale behind this. But then why do you think it has taken us so long to, uh, to focus the, the spotlight on our very own black writers? It's the four mentality. For it to poor me, somebody must do it for me. People must do, uh, must make festivals and then focus on me. No, why should anybody focus on you? You make your festival and you make yourself the focus of your festival. Congratulations and thank you to Tando for making black writers his focus. Because if he doesn't, who is, who should? Why do we expect other people to do things for us. We can't always be for it, Dormense. We must stand on our own two feet and do things for ourselves. If you go to the, you know, the, right, the, the festivals uh, in the Karoo of the Africana, you go to a, 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 a play, you go to storytelling, the grandparents are there dragging their grandchildren, the uncles, it doesn't always have to be the parents. Parents also need help, and I'm not excusing the parents. It's their main duty to, to nurture their children, but they need help. We should all be helping all the parents and also reminding them that that's their duty. For a birthday, instead of feeding the ch children cake, take them to the museum, take them to storytelling, take them to the zoo. You know, do something that feeds the soul. Miss Cindy, it is absolute pleasure having you on Morning Live. We need the whole hour talking to you about this. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. There is an uh, author and uh, playwright and poet, Cindy Magona, speaking to us about uh, her book and uh, just about the festival in general. Well, she'll, she'll also be one of the moderators in uh, the later events coming on later on this afternoon.